Opposition Chief Rayla Odinga has spoken out about the environmental crisis in the country and the fight for Mo Forest that cost him politically. He described the ravaging drought as symptomatic of Kenyan politics, which is terribly wrong. Recalling how he was viciously fought for spearheading the conservation of the Mo Forest, the country's largest water tower, Rayla regretted that policy was sacrificed at the altar of politics, putting the future of Kenyans in jeopardy. Rayla claimed that Deputy President William Ruto's now defunct political machine, URP, was built out of stage managed anger against the efforts to reclaim and conserve the Mo Forest. Now URP is dead and people are suffering. We can only cry for our country, Rayla told the star in an exclusive interview. He went on, when policy is compromised because of who is pushing it and for, the next, election, then we have a serious problem as a country. The former Prime Minister spoke amid biting hunger, severe drought and drying rivers that have put over 3.4 million lives on the line. The conservation of Remo complex was a cabinet decision but President Mwai Kabaki took a low profile as his Mount Kenya MPs ganged up with Ruto's men from the Rift Valley to wage political war against Rayla. In November 2009, President Uhuru Kenyatta, then Rayla's deputy PM and finance minister, attended a controversial meeting hosted by Ruto to raise funds for the Mo Forest evictees as the duo began their first steps to the 2013 general election. The Mo Forest turned into a frosty affair for Rayla, in addition to the charges against Ruto at the International Criminal Court. It split ODM as Rayla lost fanatical support that he enjoyed among the Kalenjin community from the 2007 election. The Mo Forest was one of the most consultative processes, Rayla recalled on Wednesday. But it, the current crisis, is not something we can celebrate about and just say I was right and they were wrong. The situation is too serious for that. In October 2016, Rayla warned that the SH 6.8 billion Northern Collector Tunnel in Moringa County would turn the Moringa, Garissa, Ukambani and Tana River Delta regions into deserts within five years of completion. The government dismissed the warning. Former Kakunga Senator Boney Kalwal claims the DP and his allies then ran an extremist campaign that made the Mo conservation impossible. I was in Parliament then. Paul Sang, Joshua Katani, Isaac Ruto and the current Deputy President ran rabid on the issue of the Mo. They wanted people to be allowed inside the Mo to decimate it. Kalwal said on NTV on Tuesday. NASA politicians have now turned their artillery on Ruto, saying he too must pay the political price for opposing the reclamation of the Mo. If Rayla paid the price for his stand on the Mo, we would also like Deputy President William Ruto to also pay the price when he attempts to become president for the havoc he has caused this country, said Kalwal. But in a rejoinder, Ruto's communication secretary David Muganyi said the DP was not against conservation of the Mo Forest but unplanned eviction by individuals who were pursuing a narrow political agenda. Mo Forest cannot be the cause of what you call drought havoc. The current drought is a result of wanton destruction of forest cover all over the country, Muganyi told the Star. Mo is the largest of the country's five water towers. The others are Trangani. Mount Kenya, the Aberdares and Mount Helgon, and the latter is hit by a wave of insecurity. Last week, the DP suspended logging in all forests in the country for the next three months as the devastating effects of the environment sank home. I am today stopping the felling of trees in all state and community forests over the next 90 days. We cannot continue with this yet our rivers are drying up at alarming levels, Ruto said in Bungoma County on Saturday. Nrik Senator Ledama Olekina, the new face of the Mo Conservation Crusade, described the destruction in the Mo Forest as terrible. He told the Star that a private investor has set up a huge plant for mass production of charcoal inside the forest. We are no longer talking about two three bags. These guys are doing a full acre, so they produce about 15,000 to 20,000 bags of charcoal daily. The rivers are drying, he said.
the first-term senator said the Waso Nairo River is completely dry, while the Mara River is slowly drying. All these rivers drain into Lake Victoria, so it's not only affecting local people but the entire country, Olaikina said. The legislator said he doubted that the Jubilee administration was genuine in its efforts to reclaim the forest and claimed almost 80 percent of the leaders in government, including MPs and cabinet secretaries, are involved in forest encroachment activities. Rayla warned that the effects of the destruction of the environment had been forewarned, including jeopardizing tea farming in Caracho and endangering the famous Maasai Mara Park. Thousands of livestock have died over the last few months as the drought became more intense. Among the worst hit areas are Nrek, Garissa, Wajir, Izielo, Tana River, Kajiado, and Kilifi. Similarly, in other parts of the country, several permanent rivers are fading away into trickles. These include the rivers Nzoa, Elwakaka, Sayo, Yala, Ishaku, Munanguba, Kalaba, Musala, and La Samu. The Sandu Miri hydropower station, for instance, can barely build up enough water to run its turbines, while the river Nyando is completely dry in some sections, dealing a severe blow to rice farming in the Harrow and West Kano irrigation schemes.